All right, Sean, another off season. Uh, the first thing I got to say is you've kept the weight off. How's that, how's that been? Oh, it's been easy. You know, um, it's still hard training. I just got in today, you know, working out, hard workout. But uh, I never wanted to uh, get back to 265, 270, you know, because um, that's not an NBA player's weight. That's more like a, a linebacker or a tackle weight. So um, i just been trying to, you know, eat, eat good. And I've been talking to Stoudemire, you know, and a lot of the veterans on the Knicks team is just trying to stay focused. You know, for you, it was always if you could get the right opportunity. You know, everybody seemed to have an idea of who you were as a player. You get a real opportunity in New York not only to make the team but to contribute in a big way. Has that helped keep you motivated? Oh uh, yeah, first and foremost, I want to thank God, you know, just for giving me that opportunity because um, like two years back or a year and a half back, I didn't even have no vision. I didn't see light at the end of the tunnel. So um, I prevailed through a lot, you know, and got in shape. And um, I got an opportunity. Dan Tony and um, Hap got me an opportunity and um, Dunning Watts got me an opportunity. And, um, and hey, uh, it worked out in, my, in the best interest for me, I guess. You know, you're back in the gym getting ready, and now you're going to head out to Vegas and take part in that big Impact Basketball League. How important is it for you to be not only involved in something like that, but get a chance to play with some of your Nick teammates? Oh, uh, that's going to be big, you know, because um, I'm hearing it's like 80 to 70 guys out there. And, uh, I know there's 70 NBA guys. That's most of the NBA, almost half of the NBA. Um, but I feel like it's going to be great runs, and uh, I'm ready, to, you know, to get with some of my teammates, you know, even uh, the new draft pick, Amon, you know, so I want to see him play and just get acquainted with just, you know, my coworkers. You know, for you, it's no longer about, you know, proving that you belong. Now it's defining your role going forward. Is that kind of different for you where you're going into camp knowing, you know, you'll get a real opportunity, and now it's trying to maybe move yourself in the starting lineup? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's more pressure this year um, than – any other year, even though it's a lockout, all the confusion and um, you know the things that keep my mind off of basketball with the lockout. But I feel like the pressure's on because um, a lot of people know I can shoot. Now it's just it's all about you know doing the extra stuff, making the extra moves, getting to the rack, being a, a great passer, distributor, just being a good teammate. You know the Knicks bring in uh, a defensive-minded coach now, and uh, Coach Woodson. You, you and I have joked a lot. The Knicks do practice defense, but now you really have kind of a defensive coordinator. For you, is that going to be a nice challenge, being able to be maybe a defensive stopper for the Knicks? Uh, I always like to be in a defensive stop. I, I, one thing I always know, uh, if you like to play defense and uh, you don't care you guard, it, uh, you always find a little time on the court. So um, I took pride in guarding everybody I can guard, even Dwight, you know, even anybody. I just wanted to get Stoudemire a little break when I can. I can get uh, Carmelo a little break when I can. Landry, you know, I just wanted to be a good teammate. Anytime they needed help, I was there, you know, to guard their man or do whatever. And I know they had my back, too. You know, for you, how, how kind of neat is it to be a Nick? You know, I asked this of Amon, how big is your world these days, being a Nick player? I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I really didn't understand how big New York was really until I played there. Like, um, it's like really in my hometown, I can't even walk nowhere no more, you know, because it's just like the Knicks, that's like America's team, like the Cowboys. And uh, I love the Knicks fans, like the greatest fans in America, you know, and they support the team a lot and I be on Twitter I just interact with the fans a lot and I just love it I can't wait to be back you know the bar is a lot higher it's now playoffs it's championship it's be elite think you guys are ready for that challenge most definitely um I feel like uh we already know we're gonna make the playoffs you know and I'm not being cocky or none it's just is we gonna uh, get past the first round I feel like everybody got a chip on our shoulder because we got swept uh, I feel like there's no reason or no excuse we shouldn't have won at least one game we had a, uh, like three tough break losses, you know, within 10 seconds. And, uh, you know, that's, that stays on my mind, you know, every day of the summer. So I can't wait to get back in the same situation again and try to prevail.